Hello friends, in this video we will check how to create the content type in a Drupal. So content types are like if you have a requirement to create the news page. So suppose there are multiple news pages and the structure of that news page is like there will be one title, image in the news, the main content of the news, date, name of the editor and the city. So by creating this content type we can add the multiple news in the same content types. So for that uh, to creating the content type first go to the structure click on the content type. So on this page click on the add content type button to create the content type. So we are now going to create the content type and its name is a news. So I will add the news as a name of my content type news pages you can add the short description for that content type title this will be the required field next if you want to when you add any content that time the status of that content will be the publish automatically unpublish it you can uncheck this one so when you add the any content that content will not be visible outside the, your admin panel so i am selecting it as a publish and i am deselecting it display author and date information menu suppose after adding the content in the content type and you want to add that in any particular menu in that case you can select the menu I am going to click on the save and manage fields. So on this page there is a by default one field. We are now going to delete that field. Like we want to create the structure like this one. Title, image, content of the news, date, editor and city. So first now I will add the field as a news title. So click on this add field button. Select the type of the that field. So the news title will be the text plane label news title save and continue. So on the next page in the field setting we can set the maximum length and allow the number of entries. Suppose you set unlimited then you can add the multiple fields but for this content type we will add the only one. Then click on save field setting. So on this page you can add the little bit uh, description so that any unknown user knows about this field. So in this field we will add the title of the news I will make, I will make this field as a required and if you want to set any default value you can set that value here so that it will automatically get populated click on the save setting yeah so on this page you can see the news title is field available the next field is image for that click on add field select the field type as an image and label will be the news image click on save and continue Suppose you want to set any default image, you can upload that image from here. So it will be div, uh, available for all nodes. Click on save field settings. Again add the help text. It is not mandatory to add, but it's best, best practice to add the help text. Upload the news image. 
I'm making this field as a required. You can add the extension which uh, images it should allow. So here by default there are these extensions are available PNG, GIF, JPG and JPG. Also you can add the image resolution. So like they have mentioned you know, if you save the 640 by 480 then you you will be able to upload only that dimension uh, image only upload max size I will set it as a 2 MB click on save setting next field is the content so for that click on add field now this will be the long text so I will select this format as a text formatted long the label will be the news layer content allow number of values I will set it as a default one click on save field settings add the help text set it as a required click on save setting so next field is a date field click on add field select field as a date label will be the news date click on save and continue button so if you want to show only date you can say select from here or if you want to set date and time you can set date and time from here click on save field settings add the help text set it as a required default date current date or relative I will say I will not set anything after that next is the editor name on this page you can click on the field type select the field type as a text plain news editor click on save and continue button max length will be this click on save field settings in the help text add the news editor name set it as a required or you can keep it as a non required click on save setting the last is the city I can click on the select it as a text plane the city name for which the news is created click on save and continue button Again, click on save field settings on the next page add the help text make it as required click on save setting yeah. now our content type is ready okay. so from here um, in this step we can arrange the sequence of these fields so if you change uh, if you want to change sequence you can scroll up and down suppose I want city up then city field will be uh, 
available above the news editor field so this uh, manage form display will be available for the back end purpose and at front end if you want to change the sequence of the fields you can change that sequence from here click on save now go to the content to add the content in a news content type click on the content in a menu add content select the news content type so write uh, this will be the title by default title news one and this will be the news title to upload the image choose the file select the image which you want to upload add the alt text add the news content select the news date and time city editor you can see here we have changed the sequence of these fields now city field is appearing above the news editor field so right now if you want to unpublish that you can select it as unpublish and if you want to publish the news click and save before that add the url allies so url for this news will be news1 click and save So you can see the news is ready, you can see the image and the other details like news title, <coughs> this is news content, news image and the other details like uh, date, city and editor. Suppose you want to remove these labels, you can remove from the content type so go to content type and uh, click on the edit content type on the manage display click on the manage display so you can see the label here you can hide those all labels so those will, labels will not be visible on front end Now I will replace the page. You can see the all labels are now hidden. Suppose you want to uh, display this date field above the below this title. For that, just drag and drop that field. Uh, now we want we want to display that field just below the title. For that, drag the field below the title and click on the save refresh the page you can see the the date is now just below the title so that's it from this video i hope you like the video